Hello YouTube and welcome to my first tutorial in a while. Um, uh, this tutorial is just going to be about creating a random enemy spawner in Blender which you can set the amount of enemies to come out of <coughs> and it's going to have a random spawn rate and it has no Python it's just the default logic bricks and another thing is that I'll soon be releasing tuto a tutorial on advanced UV unwrapping but it is kind of difficult because I've had to learn a lot so don't expect that one too soon alright so to start off you're just gonna pop in your normal view and add an empty so crap where is it there it is alright so just put your empty wherever you want your enemies to spawn out of and hopefully you already have your player modeled or whatever they're going to be tracking so I'll be tracking player here, and I'll just quickly model the enemy, which is just going to be a cube, right, so make him red, right, and call him enemy, and I'll just move him to late, oh wait, first we need to set up the logic. Alright, so with the logic, what you want to do is just add a always sensor and oops and a motion and edit object. So change the edit object to a track to track to the object player in 3D space. So just turn this up and put motion up by one and make sure it is a rigid body object so when you press P to play it's gonna track to your player here just make sure the speed's right yep there we go Right, so now we're just going to move him to layer 2 and now to the empty so with the empty selected you're going to add a few game properties the first one is amount so just call that amount and make it an integer so what you're making here is you're creating a property called amount which is a number and this is going to be the amount of enemies that you can spawn so let's just say 15 enemies for now and click I so you can view the debug. So when you go to game, show debug property properties, you can see empty dot amount equals fifteen. So that is for debugging purposes. <coughs> anyway, now we're going to add a property and a random. All right. So the property is amount. As long as it is. As long as it is not equal to zero, then edit object add object enemy. So if we just join these up, this it this is how it's gonna work. So you're gonna have the property amount and if it's not equal to zero, then add an object enemy. Alright, one more thing here, property parent property and add or subtract property amount minus one All right, so what's happening here is these two things have to become true before these two things happen so as long as amount which is equal to 15 doesn't equal zero and the random the random tick then when those two become true go over here add an enemy and take away one from amount so it's going to add 15 enemies and it's going to see uh, amount doesn't equal anything well, amount doesn't equal zero so or amount equals zero jeez I'm getting, getting lost uh yeah I'm a bit lost okay anyway so now we're just going to muck around with the random here so you're going to put tap and that goes crazy but you can see it only adds 15 and if you look at empty amount it goes down as well so you can go ahead and change the frequency to something like 25 so it will randomly choose <coughs> a tick between 0 ticks and 25 ticks 
and I'm pretty sure there's 60 ticks in one second or maybe it was more I don't know but now it's going to randomly generate the enemies so you can change that to whatever you want really and it's just going to randomly add them it also works if you don't want enemies you can just take away the properties and there you go same thing just they're unlimited so yeah that's all for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and comment so yeah that's all for now see you guys